Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful rainbow gold cut crease. This look is inspired by PP Face Chart on Instagram. I saw this look and I was immediately intrigued. I just wanted to recreate it and I'm so excited to do so. It is perfect for St. Patrick's Day, I thought. Uh, the palette I'm using today is this Creative Me palette by Postal Set. And look at this, all matte shades, rainbow shades, absolutely perfect. The first two shades I use is this yellow and this orange shade. I'm going to be putting that in the inner part of my eyelid. I did want to go a little bit higher than normal, so I am putting this above my crease, so almost on my brow bone. I, then I added this matte green shade, and I am elongating this color almost towards my hairline. And then I just cut my crease like normal. I did use the P. Louise base. It's a basically a white, very, very light shade. And then for the next colors, I'm adding this matte red shade on the inner corner, right below the yellow. And then I'm adding a purple. I did mix this light purple and the dark purple together. And basically I'm just trying to blend everything, make everything super seamless. For the last shade on that second cut crease, I'm going to be using the dark blue. And the light blue towards the very end of a cat eye. Once I am done with the blue, I just cut my crease one more time and then I set that with some face powder and then this new cut crease I'm doing. I know it's a little bit confusing, it is honestly a lot better if you guys just watch and learn. So this eyelid shape that I'm doing is going to be our last cut crease shape, I promise you. I'm adding this base by P. Louise to make sure it's tacky enough to receive a lot of color because we will be adding So here I picked up the matte yellow shade and I just pack that right on top. To make the eyelid a little bit more fun, I'm using this shimmery cream eyeshadow and I'm just putting that right on top of the yellow. Before the eyeshadow dries completely, I'm adding this LA Colors Loose Shimmer Highlighter in the color gold dust to make it a little bit more shimmery. Now 
Now this is where it gets complicated um, a little bit. Right now I'm using this LA Colors eyeliner. I love the brush tip of this eyeliner. It's super, super thin, so it is perfect to make that crisp, clean line that we're doing right now. We're just outlining the bottom part of the red and blue cut crease that we made. And I'm gonna be making a second line as well. Right here, you do want to take your time and make sure you are lining your eyelids very slowly. You can easily mess up the whole look. Also, make sure to breathe. I did realize halfway that I wasn't breathing. And then I switched over to a thicker tip brush. This is in eyeliner by Wet n Wild in the color black. I did make a very long cat eye. I just connected the end of my eyelid to the tip of the very ends of the two double lines that we made. And then I just dragged the eyeliner from the end of my eye into the inner corner. After that, I just added my favorite mascara and eyelashes to finish off the makeup look. As for the under eyes you see here, I did add a little bit of the yellow in the inner of my lower lash line, and then I added the green in the outer portion of my lower lash line. For highlight, I use the LA Colors Loose Shimmer Highlighter on all the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my nose bridge, and a little bit on my forehead. I did add some of that on my brow bone in the inner corner. And that is it for the finished look. I hope you all liked it. Don't forget to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you are aware of when my next video is out. I'll see you guys next time.